one industry and the other part of country you have other industry the same it is a subsidiary but still whatever the decisions have been taken first it has been there for the scope like what are the scopes what are the main innovative ideas you will be getting so for that innovative ideas you require to move with the help of geographical interaction so next a trans nation representative where you can say multinational composition of manager and executive where you can say uh, like mostly they are involved in the mnc's people where they having more focus on executives and managers to develop certain kind of strategies because as if they be developing certain kind of strategies it would be showing certain type of it the composition where they can handle the managemental part next it is what transnational process now into this process from ability to include representative and ideas for many countries now into this process where uh, you are having different type of representative who gives their ideas who give their process and with the help of ideas and process we show certain kind of it information and with the help of an information it shows certain kind of it uh, managemental thoughts where you can use this type of it process into the future one now Uh, already we have already seen the three nations now see in the short one how the strategies of international multinational global and transnational organization work now the or you are be seeing different type of strategies now first we'll be seeing international company transportation it uh, tr transports its business outside home country what is international company now international companies were transport its business outside home country each of its operations are replications of a company domestic experience structures geographical and involve the subsidiaries of general management the same what i said to you right now as what i mean by international company where you can say and like a goods are been transported to the other nation and from there the thing is what the uh, the management has been working and from there the thing is the trades have been performed so your uh, you you are having a subsidiaries company where you can see a manager who are been running each and every internal concept so with the help of this it shows the more and more growth into the organization companies offering multiple products often find it challenging to remain in the organ okay it is become multi challenge because as if a company is uh, showing his big type of like a, a big organization he is in there and here it is been showing a multi multi way of different type of products so at least with the help of this see that you can share into the market so here i've given you one example now needs to have a common information system for accounting finance and managerial control and marketing most of all to becomes a multinational company now what happens as if you become want to become a multinational company because as if it is a international company so like as if you want to become an mnc so on that time you need to analyze you need to do the research when related with accounts finance marketing because it covers all the parts and uh, super, uh, superiors and subordinators will be taking forth with the help of this they'll be analyzing all those thing and finally with the help of the uh, each and every strategies i think is what the companies have been running and with the help of it this type of it performance the international companies run okay now next it is what multinational companies what are multinational companies grow and define its business on a worldwide base but continues to allocate its resources amongst the nations and the region area to maximize the total now here it is mnc it is what here they are defining their business into the global market and as it they are uh, showing the more perspective into it so with the help of this they knows how the resources should be allocated like whatever the uh, whatever the resources are being used that only according to that part of only resources are being used and with the help of this the thing is it's showing with the help of a growing often maximum total into the market so with this you can say a national and a region where the boundary lines where you can do the transaction very properly and with the help of this the thing is the trades are been also become very strong so even so that is why into this concept into this subject international business here when it comes so first we look after with each and every thing okay we look after with the help of an environment we look after with the help of the people we look up uh, look after with the help of market but after the thing is we also main went with the help of it the people who are working into the organization because with the help of this part only the thing is as if the people will be managing themselves properly utilize their resources properly then only they can survive into this part of it business this part of it market so where uh, where they can show a positivity ness into the management and where you can say a uh, resources have been also been properly allocated so with the help of this the thing is you can they can get a maximum total so like as if they can be into the competitive world for the longer period of time so the main strategy is of building of this with the help of this type of companies only now
MNCs here it is been done. Next it is what a global organization. Uh, here you can say global organizations where uh, we can discuss about it. Like the entire worlds are being covered because your different type of products where the entire worlds are involved and where the thing is this products are being served into each and every market, each and every world. And with the help of this the thing is what there the managements are being showing. And with the help of the management the thing is the companies are been growing a certain position into the market. Okay. Now here you can see global organization treats the entire world as though it were one large country maybe entire company or more one of its product line may operate with a mixture of two or more organization structure simultaneously means a company is also producing its goods the other company is also producing its goods like manufacturing goods are producing and with the help of this year you are a strong competitor into the worldwide where you can survive into the market and where you can say an organization is globally challenged now okay so your next transnational organization or uh, specialized facilities to the permit the local responsiveness more complex coordination mechanizing to provide the global integration so here when it is a transnational organization here you can say the people are being special they are uh, specialized and with the help of specialized facilities has been given to the candidate and with the help of this the thing is they are showing certain type of it uh, importance to the market and with this they have been ready to trade into the global world so as if the they are ready to trade into the global world then afterwards the thing is they are into the proper way of challenging into the market so this is called a transnational organization where they don't require any kind of permits where only the thing is the local responsibilities are been required like the local people challenges are been require so with the help of this local uh, type of people only the thing is where they can complete it the force into the market so this is what strategies are been developed to run with the help of human resources management to the man from the upper level to the ground level with the help of three different major zone that is the international one multinational one global one and transnational one these are the four different type of nation and with the help of it four different type of nation so major it is a multinational global and transnational organization because they are having more focus on this only to build the market into the global wide so we because this it shows a certain integration part and with the help of integration part you can be into the uh, it will be growing more and more it will be expand more and more into the market now your the same scenario what are the efficiency into the local and the global response to differences type of the forms like as if whether it is a form but what are the differences you get it as if the products are been uh, into the local market and it is the global market so here you can say already we have learned the four concept global market transnational international and multinational these are the different four types of market so here you can say a global effectivity global efficiency here it is been there and second it is been say a local responsibility a local responsive like when it is into the global said like here you can say high low and high again so you like with the help of this type of scenario only you can rectify how the markets have been working more and how the products are being challenged into global wise and international wise because here the thing is the market works more and more and with the help of this the thing is it shows certain type of it effectivity where you can say a very international one where the thing is in the local market doesn't work more but when it is there in the global market the product works work more so with the help of this the thing is the organization grow their resources properly no evolving the motivational changing perspectives now here also the same concepts have been there what are the uh, integration parts here are the same global transnational international and multinational here you can say high low low and high but here you are seeing to wide the same concept global coordination integration and national differentiated responsibility like here again you can see a uh, same differences between so with the help of same difference between at least what you can rectify whether it's a high or a low or whether it's a low to high so with the help of this it create a certain kind of it a uh, challenging part where you can survive into the industries now impact of globalization on the nature of the work like when it come when it comes into the globalization period so on that time the nature of the work means where the workers are being more involved into the work so how competitive advantages it will be there first it is what outsourcing to the low labor country like uh, where you are not ready uh, like the people have been not recruited from outside so like outsourcing won't be done first manufacturing then processing services and now white collar white collar work 
like you can say first what happens how what are the things you do it when you manufacture any goods first you manufacture you put in the process services and then after you sell to the people so this is the strategies how it has been used by the country to be into the globalization so this are the impact now uh here i have given you the three uh, major words uh, and with the help of the words the thing is because here when it comes to the employer when it comes to the candidate who has been recruited who has been selected or as who will be who are working over there into the organization so what are the nations are been called and what are the companies are been called so first it is a parent company second is a host country and third it is water third country so these are the three different types of country nation where a candidate is been recruited even that person has been employed even that person has been selected for the certain part of it so at least what with the help of this at least what you will be getting an idea about it how the people work over there into into the organization as that person is an hr so how it has been recruited now first what do you mean by parent company a parent company is a main part of country where you can say a headquarters where each and every departments are been there but even with each and every subsidiary companies are linked with the help of this headquarters because they'll be having directly uh, they need to have a touch with the help of headquarters only so that which will be created a certain type of it a uh, certain type of it competitive way and which it show certain kind of it uh, ideas where you can serve so with the help of this it creates a parent company where all responsibility and coordinations are been done now first see the advantages parent com country nation first you can say advantage what are the countries uh, parent country advantages you get it control and coordination by headquarters is man is maintained as if i said all the uh, man uh, all the headquarters from the headquarters all uh, control and coordinations are been done means all are interlinked with you next promising the manager get international experience because you are uh, the managers are getting such kind of experience so at least they will promise to it like whatever the task whatever the work it is given to us so will be completing that then afterwards parent nations may be the best for best people for a job because as if you work for the headquarters or your work it is for the longer period of time and your job it is been secured so because you are nobody removes to you because there is a time because here there is a headquarters if you have any grievances you can go and speak to the people over there assuring that uh, the subsidiary will be comply with the uh, with the company objective policy etc now a company who has been one of one of the uh, company who has been taking the subsidiary of the same company okay so ultimately that subsidiary company will totally depend on the parent company like as whatever the parent company will be saying the same the thing is what the subsidiary company will be always following the same stuff because that will be created a certain type of a negative uh, positivity and with the help of this positivity it shows certain kind of a growingness but here there are certain disadvantages also there host country hc that means the host country promotion opportunities are been limited uh, because as if it is a host country like some other country when it has been there uh, like as if it has been there, uh, that person has been came from the, the host country who has been subsidized the subsidized company from there it's the host country so from here the promotions opportunities are very less because your uh, you does not get a promotion because it take a time a little bit adoption to the host country may be take a long time because uh, your even the employee interaction has also create a very long time because you are to get in uh, with each and every people to get in touch with each and every people it create a long time parent company may impose on inappropriate inappropriate headquarters style now the parent company will be performing the uh, the headquarters style only because sometimes this style is also not accepted by the other people that is also this created certain kind of barriers compensation difference from parent and host country may causes a problem what type of it uh, for the headquarters people the host country is getting that type of compensation will won't be getting to the parent company or a parent or the host country so like though both the countries will be getting a certain type of different compensation because according to that only it has been reclaimed to them so here there is a vast difference between as if it is a parent country still the thing is here there is advantages and disadvantages part but when related with host country so what are the problems are been faced and what are the advantages are been there first no problem with the languages and culture because when it is a host country comes so ultimately there is no the problem because your the cultures are been accepted the uh, the internally the rules and regulations are been been accepted so each and everything is there 
reducing the hiring cost here i don't need to hire the cost because already from there the thing is what uh, the from the headquarters i'm getting a candidates into it so like the cost are been very uh, reduced on that time because i need not need to pay more next no work permits are required as if you are moving to the some other country so no work permits are required because already you need to give those papers and with the help of the papers are been easier for you to work because from there only nation if the people it has been there so ultimately i that doesn't make the problem not to like to take from the other people to take from here to take from the so already if he is from the same nation so it becomes easy also to understand the language hiring cost is also not been done even the thing is what no work permits are required because as if he is basically from that nation continuity of management improved the since head uh, since uh, your host country stay longer for longer uh, longer in the position as if the people who are working into it so ultimately that person is not ready to shift to some other way because he said if i'm settled down over there so why should i go and um, go, go with the some other country so that also create a certain type of continuity of management to keep that only people for the long time government policy may force hiring of uh, host country uh, mostly into each and every nation uh, they mostly prefer the, their government their rules and regulations says about it like to hire their country people only because it becomes easy because here there won't be required any kind of work permit so with the help of this those duties are been followed promotion opportunity is not limited so higher moral among the host uh, host country okay here the promotional opportunity is very less because here it is not good but say they are given opportunities to grow so with the help of this at least uh, they can survive into that part of it management but there are certain barriers headquarters may have less control over the operation now as if the headquarters will be some other country so from that headquarters ultimately your to that uh, this name this country, host country they'll be uh, having the very less stock or very uh, less type of control over to the people then afterwards host country may still have limited career opportunity outside the subsidiary uh, they don't think about to switch to some outside because they think about it here they have a career opportunity which has been very low so with with the help of this at least they if they want to move to certain other new part of the country so it becomes difficulty to them hiring uh, the host country limit opportunities to parent countries to gain overseas experience now like as if they want to switch from higher from the host country as if they want to go to the parent country also if they want to go so on that time they require the huge experience so that also difficulty which are been faced by the host country hiring the uh, host country may encourage the federalization of a disintegration nation unit rather than one integrating of the global unit now here it is what like to perform into not even to that part of it but to perform itself in the global world so with the help of the dead person to be uh, really challengeable because he should be ready for all those focus whatever is happening out now this is a third country third country what is happen on the way, on the behalf of this type of uh, the gist of the uh, this part of country that other third person it is been selling to that person into the market and with the help of this the thing is that person is either appointed into the host into the parent parent country where he is coming and working but here uh, the certain type of benefits or he is also getting certain type of it benefit is also not getting to that person so disadvantages and advantages both are being there salaries and compensation may be lower than the parent company already it is said because as if the person is coming from third party nation so when it is coming from third party nation so uh, the basic amount the basic compensations are be less may be more familiar with the host country than the parent company now you are uh, if you are into the same country it becomes very easy like to have those who understand those culture and all but but as if you switching to serve from some from third other part country or from other from third other part so it becomes very difficulty to understand and to make that part of relationship into it next uh, disadvantages what are the disadvantages you get transfer from consider nation uh, animosity like uh, it becomes uh, whatever difficulty like any time the people can be make you transfer like to switch from one to some other next part of it district host government may resent a uh, recent third countries as much as the parent company like the host government like whatever the governments are performing rules and regulations so that two differences are being seen then afterwards a third nation third, third country nation may not comply with the headquarters style of management uh, this people uh, they does not perform that type of it headquarters whatever they says to it that part of it 
third part third countries may not want to return after the assignment they feel like like once the assignment has been completed so they don't feel like to come outside because as if they were planning to switch there only since the long as if it has been completed so this type of disadvantage is they get it so here they does not get a benefit but at least they get certain part of it importance but still they are not uh, sufficient with the whatever they are getting out because here they are having certain kind of it barriers or certain kind of it grievances as if it has been occurred so this was a three different type of it uh, where the nations have been performed and then go into the global wide now uh, we will be seeing into the recruitment and selection part now from here uh, what are the hr rules and regulations where recruitment selection compensation performance appraisals how it is been calculated i have already uh, discussed you relating to the balance sheet balance sheet of the candidate uh, when related score card uh, when so we'll be moving into that also so at least with you will be getting an idea how the salary slips are been calculated and how the bifurcations are been done now first it is what international recruitment and selection like how the internationally the candidates have been selected and it has been recruited a selection program for the international assignments involving assessing prospective candidate on the certain criteria to be associated with the assignment effectiveness like your uh, the candidate are given certain type of it assignment and with the help of an assignment the candidate is showing certain kind of it uh, certain kind of innovative ideas one and based on that the thing is the candidates have been selected so that is also one part of it recruiting a candidate in order to have the successful selection program they needs to be a broad range of prospective candidates from which to choose the criteria of effectiveness and valid procedure for the assigning the candidate on them like they are having the criteria so into that criteria the candidate should fit himself because after that only the thing is the candidate will be more efficient into the work and from as if it has been working from there so it will be then afterwards from that the thing is it will be selected now here you can see certain kind of criteria they should be the candidate should be that part of it so with the help of this at least uh, the people will be ready to recruit uh, the hr is ready to recruit that type of candidate it should be emp uh, empathy flexibility patience openness reliability confident emotional stability communication skills tolerance for difference humor uh, resourcefulness sensitivity and technical skills so these are the different type of skills which the candidate should be there so from here because their criteria are there like as if when uh, you as if you are switching to some other nations and from there as if uh, the candidates are been selected so that type of it balance should be maintained because if you are efficient effectively with the help of this type of it criteria then after was you are able to survive into that part of the industry now next it is what now see what type of uh, things to be able ability to handle an alcohol okay because usually the people drink so that type of ability should be there theory of curiosity uh, positive regards for others there should be a, that type of it uh, positivity you should show adapt uh, acceptance of an assignment whatever the assignments are given to you, you should be ready for that a uh, desire to be abroad okay you should be abroad a uh, non agnostic okay then afterwards uh, you not need to have those ethical or certain egoistic problem you should not there high more motivational courtesy uh, adaptability tolerance of ambiguity language skills interest in host culture so these are the different type of it, uh, effective feedback and effective way how the people uh, when recruiting any kind of candidate he will be performing himself that way and he should be effectively and he needs to have he needs to aware with the help of all those points so with the help of this only it will be showing certain kind of it positivity to attract more into this part of it nation and to get selected for any part of it uh, any part of it assignment or any part of position now your there is one concept hr also covered with the help of training and development okay so like when training and development comes so already you are will move this point applicable literature is given a guide supports to the proposition that cross culture training has positive impact on the cross culture effectiveness now already your the uh, already they have been focused on the word cross culture cross cultures in the sense it is what you are accepting other organizational culture and as if the thing is because in each and every organization as if you go all organization are having their own culture the way of working the way of giving the resources the way of performing their do, doing their job the way of collecting the appraisals the way of giving the compensation the way of behavior it is something else and as if once it is if the candidates have been situated or it has been switched to that part of it 
he needs to he or she needs to survive into that part of it to to like to survive into that part of it and to be into a training part so when it is coming up so you need to have cross culture facilities or else you need to develop yourself as in cross culture way so where you can uh, ready where you are guarded with certain kind of training and to accept that type of a training zone culture awareness training is not just for the employee going overseas culture awareness means you are at the for the training purpose going to the outside of the countries and to understanding it is not just a culture but it is a numerical application domestically that will increase the organization effectively it is not only to accept the culture but here it is what with the help of accepting the culture what it shows certain type of a application where you are having interaction with the industries and with the help of this the thing is you are growing yourself fast finding indications it uh, that it that it should be regular part of personal training personal training especially managemental development okay the realistic of more uh, pluralistic societies and inter international business make this necessity so here it is what it has been become more effectively into the training and from there the thing is you are developing yourself into the market and you are developing into the organization that will create a certain positivity to grow yourself into the market now what are the programs you learn into the international when uh, you are into the training and development first it is what area study program like what are the good which position you got it like what are the things you are getting studied culture assimilator assimilator programs like what are the cultures and how it has been accepted next language training program you are uh, getting the understand of uh, languages like what are the languages what are different type of it and how you will pursue that sensitive training programs like where to perform and how to perform and how to be more sensibly uh, sensitivity you need to show your last field experience program the most important because you are with the help of your only you will be growing yourself and you will be become openness to the yourself and where uh, the stage fear law, uh, the stage fear will get, get loose one and then finally the thing is you will cover up this type of programs and then afterwards the candidate is ready for to work into the organization because this all program programs are been given by the hr to the people who are coming for training development next it is what compensation okay now what is the compensation a compensation is higher than problems may be encountered on returns to the headquarters like it becomes very higher because as if whatever you get it so like it is more as if because as if from your situating from one part to some other part so ultimately all type of compensation is given to the candidate first is this if the compensation is not adequate then there may be no incentive to go for the international assignment given the hardship they are usually involved in doing so so like if the compensation is not paid to you if any kind of it allowances are not given to you so better it is not to situate to outside of the uh, outside of the nation better to be into that part of country and you need to grow yourself from there so which shows with uh, like it does not require more and more to survive into the uh, survive into the market so which show where the incentives are been not calculated but here the thing is what the assignments uh, because as if you when you situated there is no incentives are being given no working systems are being given so here other rest of all the concept are been not at all discussed so better usually doing the work into the main focus so main focus should be there in that only to perform your work more and more now see what are the compensations are paid to the international companies uh, co international compensation what are the compensation are in place expatriation premium because as if the person has been situated from one to some other one so that part of premium it is given cost of living allowances as if the person will be living over there then other swan pay allowances where rest of the allowances are being checked uh then after that shelter allowances educational allowances home leaving like the uh, catering allowance each and every allowances are being paid to the person who are been situated from the outside the nation to that part of nation or else if the person from the same which still the thing is allowances are also given to that kind of candidate also the local managers are aware that their career prospects are limited therefore they are only concerned with the security and stability of only the local operation this regarding the broad goal of the global global form so like, they are having the local managers to be having more intentions into the market more intentions to the candidate so at least with the help of this the thing is what they be having that type of efficiency with the help of a person 
when the expertise received many many rewards to con uh, to convince them to go to the abroad the local employee feel discriminated against so this happens na like if that person is uh, performing himself good and he is got is situated to the outside of the nation and then after they said you need to come here you need to work that type of it, the people who are working with you so that create a certain discrimination like why as if we are also working but still we did not got that kind of opportunity the employee is getting so that type of it also been there into this now integrators like what are the things should be there uh, most important by the people because with the help of it as if you are situating to the international way so certain kind of it positivity also should be shown and certain kind of manner should be there because with the help of this only uh, you will be growing yourself more first it is what a global perspective because my your intention will be related with the help of a global perspective where i am saying about each and everything each and everything and performing my duty according to that way so uh, that is one type of that is one type of it where it is a global perspective next next it is what knowledge and skills uh, your i should have uh, the people uh, the candidate should have knowledge and skill because as if it has been uh, as if it has been situated as if it is in the international one so your your saying human resources of both the side as if the people who are been situated over from there or as if from the other part of country has been coming and situating over there so that is also there and understanding is aware is competency you need to understand what are the things that are being there and how to compete that thing that is should be there able to manage the differences if there is any kind of differences so what are the differences so solve that type right of differences between the people values and culture because you are uh, you are should have a more focus on this three thing people values and culture because with the help of this only you will be having interaction coordinate more than more than control you need to have a control uh, coordination more than a control like you need to have a interaction with each and everyone like you not need to control but at least with the help of the control you need to do the coordination part because as if you do the coordination so the controlation method will be also been growing critical function is creating mechanism for the knowledge flow and transferring from one one part of the global system to the another like certain functions and certain with the help of a technology if there is a transferization if there is a certain part of a transfer it has been done so like to from one part to some other part you still do that so with the help of this only it will be showing with the help of her growing yourself into the vast into the global wide because it is good for the candidates good for the managers to grow himself more and more because with the help of this only the thing is what it that person will be also surviving into the nations or abroad out the outside the nations for the longer time okay so the benefit okay so like these are the different type of concept where the manager should have that type of it activity to be perform and with the help of this type of it activities and with the this type of it effective effectiveness the thing is the manager will be growing more and more now good international managers now what are the who are the good international managers how they are showing the Uh, skills and with the help of the skills they are showing their um, pro provisions more and more and they are surviving into the industries both ability to develop now the manager the international manager should develop this type of different skills because as if they will be having different type of skills so with the help of this the thing is the candidate will be work more and more and then after that part of that person will be having a good relationship among the organization because usually into the organization till the time if you are not maintaining a proper relationship because as if if how we maintain a relationship by having or by performing a, a good proper type of skills were in the front of the people because which shows a certain good behavior into the front of the other person first it is what you need to uh, have the abilities to develop effective local strategies okay uh, like if this is not there so what will be the next if this is not there so what will be the next so that type of strategy should be developed local government relationship because as if uh, you are performing as a manager so that type of a relationship should be also been maintained uh, with the help of relationship with the help of local government relationship 
कल्चर लीडरशिप स्किल्स वेयर लीडरशिप स्टाइल शुड बी एक्सेप्टेड बिकॉज विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ ओनली स्टाइल वेट यू आर हैविंग इंटरेक्शन विद द पीपल सो दैट शुड दैट थिंग शुड बी दे ऑल्सो देयर कल्चर लीडरशिप स्किल नेक्स्ट सोशल नेटवर्किंग स्किल्स Uh, where you can say how socially the people are being linked e- with each other and uh, with the help of this you are developing certain type of skills how it is been situated so social or uh, networking skill how like if how you are having a contact with each and every people so with the help of the contact of each and every people how you are be performing your skills and how you perform your way of talking with other people team working skills because as if this type also skill should be there because how effectivity the person it is been there and as if the the type of it uh, certain specialization only are performing into the group and with the help of it how effectivity the teams are been there that good understanding of business environment that is important because till the time if you are not able to understand how the business environments are been done like how into the work, how into the working zone the people work how they performing their duties so till that also should be there good understanding should be there then afterwards insightful uh, insightful local social knowledge that type, like you should be also aware with the help of local social knowledge like how to interact with the people so with the help of this type of people only the candidate will be or uh, the managers will be having more effectivity into this type of it so these are the different good international manager should be developed and should be adapt this type of relationships into it next uh, challenges of uh, expertise performance appraisal as i have already said we will be discussing this type of performance appraisal because your how the performance appraisals are been calculate so here you see uh, the uh, what are the challenges of an expertise performance appraisal are unreliable data because as if the person who comes to uh, like to understand the behavior of unknown person becomes very difficult so this is what a person if that person is expert expert from a, some some other country is been coming so like unreliable data you are not having that type of proper data complex and volatile environment like certain type of it uh, which is difficult to understand next time differences and distance separation you are having time differences where you are having least time but still there is a difference more because there is a large separations also to understand local cultural situation like to understand what is your and how they are accepting so that also they becomes difficulty to understand the people so here that type of challenges to be should also be there now steps to improve the process now to develop this type of proper way of evaluation of any kind of candidate and to know calculate the performance appraisal i have given you three different type of different type of steps different type of process because as if you need to go with the, this type of process so where you can you be able to understand like how to perform fit the evaluation criteria to the strategies you need to understand uh, you need to uh, like fit the evaluation criteria to the strategies whatever the things are you have been uh, the criteria has been there you need to just go through with it you need to do the follow up of that type of criteria and you need to put that into that criteria the strategies because from that only you'll be getting the idea then find a turn find a turn uh, the evaluation cr- criteria you need to have a tune uh, like how to perform that thing use a multiple evaluators with various period of evaluation if this is not there so uh, what is the next so that type of criteria should also be there and with the help of a criteria you need to evaluate like as if if i am evaluating this if this is there so i am going with that but if this is not there so what should i go so that type of evaluation process should be there now expert is compensation now a balance sheet i have already i have said to you i'll be giving to you provide a compensation package that equally purchasing power okay now see here i have given the uh, like what are the balance sheet cost like what are the expenses are given to the candidate when the person who has been uh, hired or when the person has been selected allowances for the cost of living housing ut- uh, utilities uh, you, uh, utili- uh, utilities furniture functional uh, educational expenses medical expenses club membership and car and a order ex- and a driver expenses so these are the different type of expenses which is given to the candidate because as if the, these are the uh, like when a uh, candidate uh, salary is and all it when it is been checked so on that time this uh, into the balance sheet you need to also cover up with the help of this type of it how much expenses are been when how many how much it has been inculcated now you all you can see a balances uh, expenditures how it has been st- spent on the income and how the people are being get it over there now first you can say domestic assignments expenses and spending and spendable income 
okay your these are the expenses whatever it has been give, uh, given to the candidate and from here how it has been deducted ex parte assignment expenses and uh, balances spent in will accounts plus allowances now your what are the expenses have been given to the when a, that person is going for any assignments so what are the expenses have been given and your how much it has been spent it, that is also been there and plus your regular allowances so that it's a different one and from here the thing is allowances have been calculated now first it is what the basic uh, salary is equal to basic salary here you can see because whatever the salaries are in there that only plus allowances as an incentives to take a position for an a services premium a uh, hardship pay and rnb okay so like this all all uh, way of allowances here it has been calculated now as if it has been there so equal uh, you can see a uh, taxes will be coming because whatever the amount will be there so like whatever the uh, amount will be there that will be taxable because into that only amount it will be taxable plus allowances to the balance extra tax payable payable payment Uh, like as if you went somewhere, so like whatever the duties you paid, so that type of it that is also been added here. So that allowances are also been added. Next, goods and services is equal to your goods and services you will be getting, or what are the goods and services you have uh, done the perform, uh, you have whatever you have sold or you have been uh, buy any kind of it or whatever the you have manufactured. Plus, with the help of allowances to be covered, cost of living differences, housing, children education, prior medical cost, automobile recreation, home living, travels. This all amount that is is equal to housing cost means the old will be going into the housing cost, which is called the housing one. Now next is the one more expenses. It is what allowance for uh, moving expenses, settling to the expenses, initiate housing cost and furnish furnishing allowances. So like all the allowances, it has been there and is equal to the spendable spendable income. So we'll be getting as what how much amount it has been spended on all the whatever the amount, whatever the taxes, whatever the services, and whatever the uh, duties are been paid. So into this each and every it has been calculated. So that will be also seen into it. Now, what are the uh, other approaches? Parent country wages everywhere. Okay, where you can say parent country where the employees are being so like the wages are being paid everywhere where they wherever it is that employees that is being situated. Next, when when uh, ex parte from the allowances, he is the certain pers other person where the uh, the allowances have been paid from the others. Okay, um, pay based on local and regional market. The allowances. Are been given to the people as if how it has been there into the market, how the standard of the livings are been there for the locals and international one, regional and the local one. Capital year selection of allowances as if uh, what are the things okay, like uh, whatever the capital years allowances are been given according to that it has been selected. So according to that part only it is given to it. Global pay system, uh, the amount will be given to how it has been given to the all the people. Uh, into the global one, the same it will be paid to the other to the people. Now, what do you mean by repart uh, repatriation? Virtually all the uh, virtually all departed personally experience some personal difficulties in reintegrating on returning home. Okay, repatriation. It is what when you are returning back to the home. So this is uh, that part of person. The main complaint were loss of status, loss of autonomy, lack of recognition of values. Of experience and lack of career direction. So repartees, it is uh, repartees. That is extra parties and repartees. So this is the repartition. Repartition is a person like as if you are not able to survive into that part of it country. You are not able to show certain kind of it actions over there, and you are not like losing your career opportunity. So again, you are coming back to the same part of which uh, country. So that is called a repartee. So it becomes very difficulty where uh, you are getting a personal experience and of uh, and working experience, and with the help of it, it has been clashed. So with the help of this type of it, you are getting a difficulties while performing this type of it. This type of it experience. Now the partitional reverse culture is shocking. Now like what are the problems it has been faced, and what are the e uh, repartees performed when that person is job related factors and the social factors. When related job related factors, he is out of mind. Where uh, the thing is what uh, out of sight and out of mind. These are the two words it has been given. So like with the help of it, like what to do, what not to do, he has been confused. International expenses devalued. Like values are more and uh, values are getting more and more because as if there is no work, but still when related with job, it has been get devalued. Whatever it has been thought, it's moving more. 
loss of status and pay, pay relevant peaking like uh, there is a status have been lost because you are you are not showing any kind of performance so finally you will lose your uh, lose your uh, one uh, lose your status into it and then afterwards the pay relativity of peaking peaking like uh, what are the things that have been paid that problems it has been there changing in the headquarters because you do you are not aware like you are moving into this part again you are moving into some other country and from there you are going to the directly to the headquarters to work over there that is the job related factors next uh, social factors expert assigned different from the social interaction coming from very close expert communities to the very everyone is very busy with uh, with their own living so like here you can say uh, when related with socially as if the person is working into the some other country very there are so many people but when i'm coming from other country from he's coming to the some other country and finally again he's feeling out like there's no other people to come and talk so like socially he's been banged to some himself so with the help of this it creates a certain negativity so that person to perform and to leave and he becomes very busy into it problem of spouse returning to the workforce uh, this is also problems are been there lack of peer support from the teenagers like you won't be having support because as if the teenagers doesn't support to you that much because with the help of it they uh, they doesn't talk with you so with the help of the that type of problems are also been faced with the social factors so the repartees are been having the cultures what it has been reversed to them and it has been not expected uh, accepted by both the side by the job related and the social factors related now multinational multinational strategies and and hrm so like what are the strategies are been used in hrm okay now uh, international human resources hrm or, uh, orientation now your this are the four different where the thing is what the hrm it has been performed ignocentric polycentric regional centric and global global one So these are the three different ones. First, uh, what are the uh, multinational strategies? Now you are at a different edge. Uh, you are going with the help of different type of it strategies, and with the help of the strategies are being performed. Now, uh, igno idiocentric HRM that is the earlier stage of in internationalization. Like till the time when it was not an internal internal internationalized. Uh, so on that time there was a problem uh, there was a big type of barrier so this is the just start up of internationalization where you can say a grow of international business more and more into the market so on that time that type of its strategies was also been developed because the international multinational companies has been started developing and then afterwards here they have developed certain kind of strategies multi local strategies is igno centric uh, igno centric and regional centric here you can see uh, like more uh, where you are seeing to the local market and regional market regional strategy closer to the global because as if to the regional wise it is as if a country wise as if it has been growing a region wise so according to the geographical criteria so from there the thing is the market has been uh, gaining itself the positivity boost next it is what international strategy ignocentric and polycentric of human resource where uh, you are developing more and more into the market and you are into the internationalization period transnational strategy a global international hrm hrm where you can say the national wise how it has been performing the strategies when the candidates are been hired so from your the thing is it showed certain kind of it positivity is like how you are performing into the market now you are the same uh, will be discussing about what you mean by ignocentric approaches ignocentric approaches the parent company a parent country nation take all the key position of multinational companies in the earlier stage of internationalization as if i already say ignocentric is one type of it where each and every it has been take force from the parent company it has been total it has been hold to the uh, to the parent company by this type of policies are been used a lack of qualified host country you like we are having we are don't have that much type of qualified because that was just first part of it internationalization it is just starting up so on that time uh, why this type of reasons uh, of pursuing the policies are been there first the qualified host country we were having lack a uh, parent country was not having that type of ability of uh, maintaining a coordination with the subsidiary next transferring the knowledge how like uh, your it was just a beginning of so that was why this type of it, uh, reason was there to pursuing going moving with the help of this challenges now sometimes there was also the problem uh, which was occurred adoptions of parent company to host country may takes a longer time because as if from one nation to some other nation creates a longer time promotional already i said uh, where uh, local managers are limited where the people are been working over there 
parent company's lack of sensitivity uh, here there is a parent company lack of sensitivity because all are working it is just a beginning and they know how to perform this year they are must they are like whatever it is going like it is a higher one so your whatever the percentage will be getting will be performing that so but that create a certain negative approaches polycentric approaches a company follows the staffing policy using the host country in the subsidiary and parent company corporate the uh, headquarters here you can see a triangle shape has been performing parent company host company so these are the two companies where headquarters are been maintained by the subsidiarization and with the help of this it shows certain kind of a uh, 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 like policy maintained by the government and with the help of this you are performing the staffing sources and with the help of this the thing is the resources are been maintained according to that advantages what are the if if this uh, there is a uh, good type of it subsidies it is been maintained so they are there is a certain type of advantages uh, there is no language problem because barriers are not there adjusting with the problem of ex parties only the people adjustment it has been done uh, when the people who have been uh, from there from the other part so from there become bit problems have been there uh, men uh, but uh, they are ready to adjust themselves employees of uh, um, the of the host county is less expensive a uh, moral and the career opportunities of local stuff are like morals and career opportunities of the local stuff are been also been there so that is also been see but there are certain problems when it has been there we claimed between independent nations unit and uh, headquarters like uh, the institution the organization where it has been working and the other headquarters so that relationships are been not strong over there because you don't have a le less more do you don't have more talk you have a less linked up with this lack of experience of both head uh, host company and uh, and parent companies so liability is an increasing competitive international environment here already the thing is there is so much of credit uh, it has been remaining so because here there is no part of relationship are been maintained so if there is no relationship are been maintained so uh, the into the international environment you can see how the worlds are been more competitive next igno centric approaches best people get key jobs nationality is not important so like you can say to your life you get it means if you show your potentiality then you get a job it is in does not matter whatever nationality it has been described so your advantage is a pool of senior international managers develop you are uh, you are showing your performance and with the help of this you are you are showing that that kind of a performance where you are senior one like you are a head T tendency of national identification of managers with the subsidiary unit is reduced you are uh, like uh, to move to the subsidiaries of that part of the relationship it has been it has been lower lower but you are with the help of lower and here you can identify because with the help of an identification you will be getting a score score one and from here the thing is uh, it has been reduced ignocentric uh, there are certain kind of a problems immigration laws which requires the employment of local nations are usually by made by many host country like immigration uh, problems have been also been there because their rules and regulations have been followed uh, so like you need to follow but still if it is been not followed so ultimately it goes to the abundant and with the help of this that create a certain barriers difficulties to implement because of increasing training compensation and reallocated law cost because uh, to situate from one country to some other country the expenses have been going more we are ready to pay but still it is going more so that type of expenses are also been seen a uh, longer lead linked time and more centralizing control of staffing process are required your uh, to hire any kind of candidate uh, staffing process requires so many costs and where the resources are been used abundant so with the help of this uh, there is a certain negativity implications are also been coming on so with the help of this it creates certain disadvantages i can conclude with the help of this part of it hr is must match with the corporate strategy whenever you are performing hr strategy like you need to have directly contact with the corporate strategy where you can say and higher level people to the lower level people but the all the strategies are been built from the higher level by shareholders the board of directors the ceo the md each and all it has been calculated over there decision factors that matters in the content of the company uh, com companies hrs strategy should be defined before entering into the emerging market like moving into this part of it so at least first it is important to understand the market because as if you understand the market from there only the thing is the strategy so it will be developed more and more and from there the thing is it will be growing into the market for the longer time 
so this i'll be concluding with the help of chapter now next we'll be moving with the help of the chapter that is called the international marketing research now already we went with the help of human resources because human resources the sources where uh, you are getting each and every concept which is being cleared with the help of an employer and from there the thing is what you are hiring any kind of candidate how you are keeping a relationship a corporate type of strategies you are using when as if you are using corporate type of strategies you are performing your uh, uh, your way according to that and with the help of it you are showing certain kind of innovative ideas now the second part it is what international marketing research uh, already we have discussed what are the international whatever the marketing research have been there because already previously i summarized to you now we'll be moving into the internal concept what is the international market uh, market research first it is what are objectives like in each and every organization and each and every chapters you are having certain type of it objectivity because till the time if as if the objectivity is are not there now each and every organization works with the help of a uh, vision mission goal and objective so like they are having certain type of objectives whenever you are uh, producing any kind of goods into the market and where you are doing that type of tradition trading of uh, goods uh, to the outside nation where certain barriers are also being there but with the help of and barriers they are analyzing the problems and after analyzing the problems the goods are been distributed to the other nation so your first it is what uh, define the international market research and provide the descriptions of immensing scope of for uh, examples of each type of research conduct into international relation describe the steps are also also involved and with the help of its steps will be seeing a process also you will be seeing out how it has been involved into the international market uh, introducing the concept of decision support system like how you take a decision so that is also been said international market and describe the sales forecasting process where a future you market you will be seeing future trading trading you will be also seeing and how the goods are been traded to the international one that will be also been seen so that is also been said in the objective now what do we mean by market research international market manager needs to constant monitor the different forces for force effective their of op international operation international market research especially is a complex now i can say what do you mean by international market research now international already you know what do you mean by international but when it comes to market research it is what your your analyzing a market because your from your as if you analyze the market you can make the product or you can prepare a product and from your the thing is you will be trading into the worldwide so with the help of this it create a certain where you are analyzing and you are contributing the objectives and from your the thing is the goals are being also covered so this is a one type of complex task because you are you need to do the brain stealing uh, type of type type of it because you are till the time if you don't do brain stealing type of it you won't be able to perform any type of duty so here you need to do the, do the brain stealing activity because it creates a lot of uh, lot of analyzation and from lot of analyzation the forecasting period forecasting are been done and with the help of forecasting it has been done it will be growing more and more into the market okay now international market research market research is a systematic design collection recording analyzing what i mean by international market research what do you do into the international market research uh, this is one type of systematical way where you go step by step uh, you design yourself like you portrait your way collection you collect the data either from secondary or a primary uh, next it is for recording analyzation interpretation and reporting of information pertaining to the particular market decision facing a company operational internationally means you see the competitor which if this product is there so ultimately what would be the next product and like as if this product one who is the competitor into it so like as if you are seeing seeing the competitor so who are the competitor one and as if you develop this type of strategies you are showing the uh, market research and you are doing in a, you are analyzing the research with the help of it because till the time you don't do the research you don't show certain kind of popularity into your product so you won't be able to survive into the market you want to survive into the market into the competitive world for the longer period of time so the marketing research have been done uh, by the international world. like this is international where uh, your products are been traded to the worldwide where it is going to the global wide so as if it is going worldwide and the global wide so for this you need to show certain type of it positivity there and to show importance to it into the market now first research of industries research of industry market characteristics and trend 
like what are the things you do uh, what do you do into the industries and what are the characteristics of the market what do you do like ask uh, as how you analyze each and everything first acquisition of analyzing what are the problems you see it out why the things are been done so you move into that part of it analyzation diversification if it is in the loss so how it will be converted into the profit that will be also you will be doing an analyzation market share analyzation if what is the product cost and how what are the values of the product into the market of the company into the market so because with the help of this only the thing is it will be analyzed and it will be showing into the growing more next class is what export research uh, as goods are been exported from one country to some other country so uh, you need to also do the research as if the goods are been exported to the outside of the country or as if it has been imported to the country so both the side it has been said because here you need to identify you need to move with the help of e the total concept so from your at least your analyzing uh, of each and every stuff so here you are getting that international buying behavior research like uh, the major concept uh, my the most important will be related with the consumer because when i'm going with the help of marketing one so your my most intention will be related with consumer because their no, their needs their wants their desires should be fulfilled fulfilled so for that uh, for that fulfillment i require the brand of the product because till the time if there is no brand of the products into the market the there if there is no any kind of it, ambassador of any kind of product which is a popular one so so the people won't buy the product so with the help of this is also one type of it, interaction where the thing is the branding research a buyer behavior my directly buying the products into the market so what the buyer as if the person is buying any good so what is my behavior i need to know the customer the consumer how what their needs are been there so that how it has been fulfilled first with the brand preferences as if market currently you can see a market is having a number of brands and preferences are more if this is not this ultimately this this is not that that is the brand attitudes uh, like each and every brand show certain type of attitude because with the help of this only the market interactions have been growing more brand um, brand awareness study you are just moving into it if this is the brand so what are the uh, needs are been fulfilled and how the people will be attracting more that awareness study you will be getting purchase behavior study like as if you are buying any goods so what will be the my intention as if i am buying the goods from the market last consumer segmentation study your your understanding consumer and how what are the segments are been covered the like consumer what are the things like we have this if what are the my preferences what are my choice so that segment is also been covered into research as if you do the research of any kind of it business or any kind of behavior means here you are doing a research not even related with the product but even the people and even the consumer each and everything you are doing a research that is why it's called international marketing research where goods are been buyed because uh, as if you already know we are in the global world and with the help of the global world this type of it scenario has been created now <coughs> now from here we'll be moving with the help of different type of research product research price place and promotion because these are the four major stuff of in research because in the marketing marketing comes with the help of four stuff so like product price praise and promotion where you see it or and from here the thing is it shows the innovative products into the market now see first what do you do uh, when related with the product so what do you do first important it is what concept development testing study you do r and d because when the products have been built so you do the study of the product like what are the products have been there how it has been put what this chemicals have been put this chemicals have been put brand name generation and testing uh, what is the brand name and how the how it has been generated how it has been came from the name and you test like whatever it has been there into the product so the same you can see with the help of how you analyze the product here you can see a magnifying glass and the box it has been there which has been there for the logo is also been three uh, six year so with the help of this you do the analyzation that is also been see product testing you to identify the product because uh, as this is uh, already you might be aware that whenever any of the product uh, is produced it manufactures on that time first the thing is it is what a product are been tested then competitive product study now if this is the product so if there is any other competitive product relating to it, if i am producing a biscuit so does the uh, some of the biscuits are also been there if for example if i say a parley is a biscuit but that then afterwards if britannia is preparing his biscuit so what are the different 
Parleji and Britannia. What are the differences there into the biscuit? That is also being studied. Packaging design, the way of uh, making the packaging, okay, like you keep a plastic package or a paper package, whatever you keep it up because with the help of this only the thing is the product shows certain type of innovation. If you do the copy one doesn't, the people doesn't buy, you need to show certain type of innovative flavors, innovative one with the help of the product. Next, test marking, if uh, the people should also be get a test marking like to use this product where you can say into the into the malls as if you go you get it a uh, certain food the food items as if you go it over there from this you are having one product free from this you are having two product free so with the help of this the test makers you showing that kind of product now when it comes distribution research when it comes to distribution research because this is important like when you are distributing the goods to some other one you can say a place place where goods have been distributed important export analyzation so what are the analyzation you do here you analyze who are the import who are the exporter one because here the goods are been uh, the, uh, just analyzed because how it will be imported exported because those duties you need to pay channel performance and coverage uh, like as if you are a wholesaler you are a retailer you are having a transaction with the help of wholesaler and retailer how competitive you are that thing also been there plants and where all locations to be studied because as if the goods are being pre prepared but where to locate where to keep those goods that is also being checked because till the time as if this type of awareness is not there so ultimately where the goods will be stored for because as if you require a clean place a proper place a dry place because there only the goods are being stored so that is why uh, you need to uh, just identify with the help of plants and uh, plants and warehouse where you can see a plot of plot like a warehouse where you can see where you can store the goods for the longer one next time we'll moving with the help of promotion because after this the thing is uh, next the goods are being the when you're doing a marketing one so on that time you are doing the promotions of certain goods so what how you do the promotion study of premium coupons and deal you give the coupons to the people uh, so with the help of it the goods are being attracted more and more uh, you analyze each and everything advertising effectiveness effectiveness research uh, you advertise that part of it so at least it will be more effective for the people to attract more and more into from the from the directly like as if you do the research you show like this is there no this is there so we have done the research so we have seen this that is one type of attraction of the products to the to the people so this is a good way of advertisement local media research what are the uh, because you even need to see like if this product are been inbuilt so what are they are writing about the product as if it is and what are the research they have been done study of uh, study pertaining to the personal selling activity okay that is also like if you are going personally or selling the goods into the market so what are the activities how it has been performed so when it has been going so like this has been also been seen uh, sales force compensation like where incentives you are paying to the people because till the time the goods are being more sold into the market or as if it has been sold more and more to the other people so that type of relationship it has been maintained so compensation activities also been given you pay the incentives quotas okay well, like if uh, what are the barriers it has been given or uh, what if there is any kind of it uh, the bunch of it is given to like these are the bunches you need to store here you need to sell here so that type of it is also been a territorial way where geographical way how the where the people will be preferring more the goods because that is also been seen na? if at the certain region the people prefer this type of grains more so if you you sell over there into the your product as if you're going and selling over there into the market the sell will be more because as if if you do the manufacturing here if you sell here into the into that type of a territory the people are not ready to buy so that type of a difference is also you need to share. and according to that only you need to do the, do the promotion of uh, any kind of goods because this is the research part what you do you analyze you need to analyze that thing now we went product price pricing now we will be going we went with the help of promotion what are the pricing strategy because here you need to also develop with the help of pricing strategy as if uh, already you have seen study pro, pro, study is the projecting demand uh, how much there is a demand that much only you need to do the supply but what are the product cost you need to keep that way so at least it will be effective for the people at least to uh, at least to buy currency and counter trade uh, trade study where currencies are been also been checked and even how the trading will be done that is also been checked study of inflation rates and pricing when you are putting any kind of pricing of any part of goods you need to understand where uh, if it is on the inflation one 
so like how the people will be buying those products and how uh, the it will be surviving into the into the market so that is also been see study of negotiation tactics uh, if uh, you need to also study if the people will come to negotiate the goods so like if negotiating the pricing so whatever pricing you will be keeping out because you should be aware with the help of each and every system because with the help of each and every system at least the thing is you will be able to do a proper way of pricing research okay now your the imp concept it is what international business environment what are the international business environment your where international management is a management of business operation conducting in more than one country okay like international marketing or international business environment it is what as if it has been situated you are seeing each and every environment and as if you are seeing each and every environment you are doing a trading not into the country but even to the outside of the country so where do relate to country relationships are been maintained fundamental task to do changes okay why do why you do this so it's like as if your regular duty will be changing more and then of course you will be showing seeing more type of it positive energy basic management will function where you can say uh, are the same domestic international the trading will be different the product will be same but as if according to that they will be doing a trading greater dif difficulties and risk greater difficulty in risk when performing on international scale it is important it is very difficulty because as if your goods are been distributed to the indian to the uh, total international way so it becomes difficulty uh, to accept those goods into the market and to perform and to sell the goods and you need to use those strategies to develop that goods into the market to the stronger to the stronger pinnacle okay so this is called international business now when i'm going with the help of international environment international business environment international marketing research the environment international marketing research where i'm going where i'm looking out with the help of you can see a slant side where you are moving with each and every environment okay a structured informative uh, social uh, social cultures marketing governmental environment legal environmental ecology economics like you are moving with the help of each and every environment and from this environment the thing is what you need to go your your products will be moving into each and every sources and as if it is moving in each and every sources you need to perform your environment of producing the goods into the market according to that way now you are having a certain step as if uh, you are moving with all the environment from starting till the end so as if you are moving with all the environment the, there are the steps because in each and every direction they are having certain problems that they are having certain discrimination uh, they are ignorance more so that is why the thing is what in when you are analyzing the international business environment when you are analyzing or you need to go with the help of each and every environment but as if you go each and every environment you are also you do the uh, research because as if you do the research you will be getting a proper criteria the you can see the steps step of problem definition as if you go everywhere what are the problems developing an approach what are the main concept relating to it research design formal formulation like how you perform how you analyze the duties field work data collection okay like how you do the field work how you perform each and everything okay so that is also being said data collection how you collect the data uh, data preparation and analyzation and last is what report pre pre preparations and presentation so you start with the help of problems you end with the help of your presentation so here you analyze each and every step and from here the thing is what you are growing your research more and more and with the help of it the thing is what you are performing your products into the market you are doing marketing you are developing that type of a marketing strategy where you are ready to challenge to the global world in the global period because you are as if you are moving with each and every environment and you are also with the help of you are dealing with each and every environment only you will be growing more and more into the market now here again the same what we have seen here we'll go into it what are the steps it has been given to it because with the help of the steps only your points are been clear just a minute
okay now the international marketing research process now here there is a different type of process so like when moving into different type of it process what are different already we have uh, seen with the help of uh, okay we have already seen with the help of the so uh, different type of steps and environmental inter environmental how internationally how you perform your duties and how you perform each and everything now this is the international market research process what are the process define the international research pro uh, define the international research problems and agree to research objective as if i said you are moving with the help of a certain type of it objective because since the time if you are not having any kind of objectives you won't be able to understand the problem so first it is what you need to understand the problem first as if when your uh, problems as if you are saying out so like when your problems it is been saying so like because with the help of the problem only the objectives are been calculated so your different type of research you will be doing explore and research that is you will be moving into the explanations of internally depth descriptive you are moving into the each and every concept like this is there this is there this is there that is saying out casual research that's a common research what you do it out like as if what are the important data that is only be selected so like as if you are getting the define the uh, international research problems and agree on research objectives each you see finally you get set specific objectives uh, here you specify all the objectives because from here only the thing is the objectives are being seen because from here only the objectives are being clarified because from here only you will be getting a proper way of data has are been collected now next it is for continuing the point developing the international research plan you are also uh, you are even uh, developing a international plan like how to perform more and more because as if you are dealing into the environment so here you will be also having clarification when related with the help of uh, international research plan you do it define the information sources as if uh, you are having two type of data secondary and primary data secondary is are that type of data uh, which has been said uh, where already the, uh, the data has been filled in it where already data is are available and from there you are taking just for the reference and primary data is that type of data is where the thing is you are going physically you are taking those data you are asking those you are taking up with the questionnaires and from there the thing is you are analyzing and doing the research so research it is of two different types of data sources and from this two different type of informational sources you are whatever the data is as if you are getting out and from that the thing is what you are running out with the uh, certain type of information and with the help of running out with certain type of information you are uh, you are coming out with the help of the problem now research must determine if the information is available and if so how it is reliable so as if i said internet uh, internal data is useful only if the company has collected similarly inform information from a relevant respondent to the country with a similar environment so the same it has been said now what are the secondary data what is called what are secondary data are called these are the conceptual equivalence and functional equivalence now when related with uh, com, uh, conceptual equivalence here it is been said so like conception has different meaning in the different cultural environment now when you are going with social and cultural environment that is the one concept that is social that is conceptual equivalence like as if socially uh, what type of concept you are using what type of concept what are the techniques you are thinking about it and from that the thing is the data has been collected from their ideas functional equivalences like product themselves may be useful for the different purpose in the different country environment like a functions like as the products have been used here but as the products are using out different way so how it has been used so that type of differences are been also been seen because with the help of that type of differences only you will be getting a clear cut idea of the products into the market so this is secondary data constant now again availability reliability and validity so these are the three, three different types of it where the research are been done accuracy of a secondary data can be questionized published statistics may be unreliable so like uh, you need to identify with the help of statistical way because you are as if the goods when you are moving out with the help of goods and with you are moving out with the help of certain data so like uh, when you are taking a secondary part of it so you are moving out each and every internally to it 
sources of reliable data uh, reliable data so like where you get those reliable data because it's a secondary one and when you are doing any kind of marketing research uh, you are you are international when it has been doing your marketing research so you are having this different type of it, reliable research these are all secondary one and from here you can get a relevant sources and from here the thing is what whatever the questionnaires are been there you can solve the problems from here like world bank unit nation developmental programs organization of economical corporations and development and euro monitor so these are the different type of it where you can show a certain where reliable data are been calculated and you will be getting from there what are primary data information collected for specific purpose to address the problem of handling so like uh, whatever the problems are there you are going and asking the questions that is called a primary data and from there whatever the answers you are getting or you are just putting out with the help of that the cost of collecting primary data in the foreign markets are likely to much higher given the lack of appropriate market research infrastructure so like uh, the as if you going personally and asking becomes very expensive but when related with certain kind of it assignments have been there and from there the thing is uh, it becomes appropriate as if you do the better it is if you do the marketing research because from there only you will be getting a proper way of questionnaires and proper way of answering of such kind of questions when related of the primary data now marketing data research approach approaches now you can say a qualitative research you where you can say it out a qualitative where has been particularly useful as a first step of studying of international marketing phenomenon like when you are moving with any kind of primary data so you first uh, need to collect those data from the focusing of group where focus on group and observation like you collect the data when group of the people are coming together and they are performing their own duties so that is being also been seen Uh, they are giving your own views own references from there and with the help of this second uh, like when observation of some kind of people and from the observation of certain kind of people you are getting that type of it interaction into it then constant responses can be affected by culture individual may act as a difference if they know being observed like it happens like how they perform as they are a neutral and as if once they are been attracted so how they are performing so there is a wide difference between the primary data and how it is been collected with the help of researching one next primary research approaches now first it is what a qualitative data next it is what a quantitative data now when related with quantities when this was when related with the help of the so qualities was there this was related with the help of qualities and next with the help of the quantity so there is a vast difference between this two uh, this two one here you are having the qualitative ones and here is the quantitative one because you are having more your structuring on whatever the things have been analyzed so you uh, go with the help of different type of it analyzation you do different type of research so with the help of this only the thing is analyzation is done Con- content analyzation uh, you go with the help of that type of data which is the constant like what are the things to be done next survey research you go with a certain part of it uh, certain part of certain part of it regional way where you ask certain questions and from there uh, you are getting an ideas of whether to accept or whether to reject that part of it then experimental research uh, your experimental research when it comes so like you give a certain kind of products to them and finally from there at least they'll be showing certain kind of it whether to accept or whether to reject that type of a scenario responder factors it is depend upon the infrastructural factors how they are showing with the help of two type of dimension uh, as if a primary and secondary the sources of data where it has been there first it's the primary data and secondary data uh, primary data is that type of it which are the first time applicable secondary data is that type of data which is already been reliable and already which are been there so uh, the thing is what so if you want already the data if you already want the previous data you can collect from secondary but if you want the primary zone you need to do the surveys and experiments and because from there only uh, you will be getting a proper sources and proper analyzation of data now how you do the fifth step it is what data collection how you collect the data design the data collection instrument okay uh, that is imic and epic instrument like imic is uh, one type of it uh, it depend upon the cultured and a specific one like this is a this is from your only innovative like this is only reliable for it to take it and next it is what a phenomenal like you are having a use and from there at least you are having that type of it attraction yeah that type of it your instrument you are using and you are performing that type of data that is been said 
नेक्स्ट डिसाइड ऑन द सैम्पलिंग प्लान डिसाइड ऑन द सैम्पलिंग प्लान बिकॉज ऑलरेडी यू हैव सीन दैट टाइप ऑफ इट ऑलरेडी हाउ द डेटा इज बीन कलेक्टेड दिक्कत इज वर्ड सैम्पलिंग प्लान बिकॉज स्टिल द टाइम द प्रोडक्ट आर बीन नॉट सैम्पल यू द प्रोडक्ट्स आर बीन मैन्युफैक्चर बट वंस यू आर गेटिंग ईच एंड एवरी द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड देन आफ्टर यू कलेक्टिंग दोज डेटा so you need to require a certain type of samples when a sample of unit sample of size and sampling of procedure these are the different type of its sampling because from here only you will be getting an idea how the <coughs> sources how the data is are being seen and uh, as if the data is how you get it and how the unit samples and size and procedures are being followed so that has been said collecting analyzing interpreting once all the data has have been collected then you need to collect you need to analyze like what is there how it is been there you just move into into the depth interpret the data means how it will be there on the future if we move with the help of the same scenario so this is been there now decision support system into the global market now already you have already said a coordination a coordinated collection of a data system tools and technique complement well support software and hardware design by gathering interpreting of business and environmental data now nowadays already we are uh, that type of decision it becomes very easy for you to understand because currently we are been blessed with the help of new technologies new techniques uh, because from there only you are getting so many data and from data is the thing is what you are getting a research of a market and from the research of the market you can use so those you are getting those tools to get uh, into each and every product to get each and every uh, each and every uh, sources and to understand and uh, you are getting a proper way of interpretation of such kind of goods and from here at least what uh, you are getting the sources from the sources at least what you are analyzing each and every data is into the longer one and becomes relevant for you uh, to understand those products and those marketing strategies to be pursued into the market now what are sales forecasting sales for forecasting is one type of estimation uh, where you can say how, how the people will be attracting more how the uh, people will be more into that part of it like they are using those products into the market how attractive they will be the first it is what sales force uh, composition is an estimation estimation how you do it like personal observation and expectations of local sales force you see you see the how the goods are been mold sold into the market and international way as if to the local market so with the help of it at least you get an estimation and it is a certain future oriented uh, future oriented one where you are forecasting the future and from the future at least you are getting an expectation how my goods will be running into the into the longer period first uh, it is this sales for composition estimation your as if you do need to do the uh, forecasting you need to do it because in each and every uh, research as if you whenever you are doing marketing research your forecasting should be also there if the product i am building right now so if it will be growing more so what is the scenario will be there into the future so with because with the help of this only it will be showing certain uh, more importance and certain growth so jury of expert opinion here you can see a future demand already i said a delphi method here you are using like you are getting those ideas and from the ideas expert to estimate the market performance finding out aggregated and experts are requires again the high of the the light of the aggregate response like how the people are more attractive into it so this type of it method this are the other this type of delphi techniques and delphi methods are also been used uh, as how you will be growing more and more into the market and from here only the thing is what you will be showing more type of it uh, yeah, informations into it and how it will be easy for you to understand so from here only it will be created a higher the higher thinking and higher thoughts of being the forecasting uh, being into the market market being into the market for the long now time series and ignometric models already nowadays you are having a user data of a past performance to predict the futures already you are having a data and from here at least you can take a past performance like what will be there what will be the scenario this will be there analyzing methods 
uh, here you will be having the finding the market you need to finding the mar you need to find the market from where the uh, goods will be uh, goods will be get more and more and how that type of attractions will be there estimating the uh, estimating the methods that realize on de developing and finding in the market where you can see a similar level of economical develop like you need to estimate if uh, the economical development is the same but still how the strategies have been developed that where the products in the same man same market develop the stages okay or in the marketing which shares a similar culture characteristics so like each and everything here you will be analyzing with the help of the future because you are seeing the future event so here you need to see more focus on the future one next year you can say a uh, continue point of sale research like uh, the people who do the research so you will be getting in the store which is being scanned with the help of this barcode and you will be getting this number so with the help of it this is called a store audit where uh, the if you do more research and finally you get a uh, succeed into that and finally you get that type of it but uh, that type of barcode is sign and with the help of the at least you can get uh, the market skilled how the sales are been done into the market so i can conclude the all part it's a very difficult market research it's not easy it's very difficult because to get uh, internally and to present the products into the market is very difficult into this so although it's extremely difficult to conduct the market research in the third world country research is perhaps the most reliable way to determine the estimate characteristic of consumer environment and behavior in the country so the same it has been said here it becomes very difficult to do the marketing because your uh, when you are doing any type of it marketing your main intention will be your consumer because till the time the consumer needs wants are been not at all fulfilled you won't be able to survive into that part of it industry so that is why from here here they have given more focused or uh, more focused on marketing strategies but uh, as if you do it but it's very difficult because you need to go into the technical way. just it is not like that you have a pen you are going and selling but when you're going and selling uh, you need to see whether the pens whether how much pens are then how much how the how much papers are preferencing that type of product if the especially if there is a new product into the market and to analyze that type of new products it becomes very difficult because you require the competence in between the both the two, both the two products into it and with the help of this it shows certain kind of it positivity in it and with the help of this at least what you can identify the work uh, you can identify how research is more difficult uh, into international because as if you are not even one nation but even different part of nations have been there the cultures have been accepted the language has been expected accepted the uh, different type of regional and local market here it has been expected and from here the thing is the market scenarios are been worked so from here we have completed with the help of two chapters we'll just do the revision once what are the concept we went today so at least what it becomes easy for you at least to understand now today almost we went with the help of different type of it points now for a minute okay we went a uh, different type of fit uh, different type of fit market where we already seen with the help of different types of uh, rules and regulations okay uh, okay we have already seen uh, today with the help of we just went with the help of two chapters today first is your international human resources management and second we went with the international marketing resource now we already seen uh, all the concept uh, when related with the help of international human resources where you have already check uh, where how rules how regulations are been followed uh, the terms and conditions now already hr is that part of it uh, where resources should be allocated more and more in, from more and more because as if the into the organization the candidate will be surviving for the longer time so for that that is why the thing is what the uh, major concept of resources are also been take for now today we have already went when multinational way we went three different way uh, host country parent country and multinational way and then after we went a global perspective this are the four major different concept here we have already seen because as if the employees are been exported and reported into the uh, into the organization so their strategies we have been seen and with the help of the strategies what type of benefits they get as if they have been hosted over there then uh, into hrm here we have already um, we have the major focus on strategies but still with the help of it hr which has been covered with the help of resources so with the help of it he will be he or she will be looking after the proper way that is recruitment selection 
compensation also we have seen performance appraisal has also been seen and training and development because these are the major scope of an hrm as if the person who is been situated the from the outside outside of the country or he has been imported into that part of country because with the help of it they at least he will be showing certain type of position himself into it if he has been growing more so he will be survive if that person is not growing more he won't be able to survive into the market again he will be repart into the country so this has been said or again they have been called from there so with the help of this at least they'll be showing a big difficulties into it so uh, we went with the help of this and uh, we have already already we have seen what type of it uh, okay there was one uh, the thing is effective one what type of the things should be there okay these are the effective one what are the uh, things should be accepted by the people as if uh, you are accepting those type of it international one so this all different type of it communication skills your the certain leadership type of skills this all skills should be accepted because from your only it shows certain type of it strongness and certain type of it uh, uh, certain type of it confident way as if you can survive and the people who are being employed over there so here you have already seen this type of quality should be there because they are having more focused on this type of it quality because of quality will be there more and more so ultimately the people can be have that type of it coordination and they can be survive into that part of it industry so that also we went today uh, then afterwards uh, the ability good international managers ability to develop this uh, ability should be developed because as if uh, when related with the help of an ability that type of it terms uh, that type of rules regulations to be followed and that type of behavior should be also maintained so majorly human resources is that part of it where each and every concept when related because you are only human resources it is one type of it where you are maintaining a relationship between a people because hr is only related with the people is the people oriented so when related with people oriented he needs to he or she needs to perform himself that way that he'll be having the touch with that part of person will be more innovative and where the most it is what your you are changing you are seeing the behavior and as if you're seeing the behavior the person it has been appointed into that part of nation and as if the thing is with the help of this the people is getting an incentive incentives also and it has been also been calculated so here if the training and training is also given to the candidate becomes very easy because as if it is the host country it become very easy but if it is into the third party country it becomes very difficult because to move over there and to understand their cultures and all becomes very difficult so like the when the recruitment it is recruitment policy it has been done so like each and everything is are being checked properly into it because after this only the employees are been recruited and they have been performed into according to that way now uh, we have already seen international human resources and in the second part second chapter we have already went with the help of international uh, international market research now today we also went with the help of a market research you already got you already got to know what is marketing what are the research how the research has been done how it has been performed because till the time uh, those rules and regulations are been not followed because you are uh, doing a trading you are doing a business into the boundary so like doing a boundary and going to the nations it becomes very very difficult so when producing any kind of good when manufacturing any kind of goods till the time if you are not doing any part of research it becomes very difficulty to understand becomes very difficulty to move into that part of it so that is why uh, this is important concept where you need to do with the help of analyzing those goods analyzing those market with the help of those data those environment you need to move out we have already seen different type of environment because uh, as if we are doing analyzation of market of by any of the product through the global wide so like you need to go with the help of each and every goods so you need to identify if this is not there if this is there so that type of it and my main intention when why i am doing an analyzation because here i want to fulfill my company want to fulfill the needs of an consumer their needs and wants of the consumer because till the time if the needs and wants are been not fulfilled it, it becomes very difficulty to do the it becomes very difficulty to sell the products into the market and here when i'm doing a research so i'm not i'm doing a research for the present future and past so each and everything i need to see it. because what what the past has been happened what is the future that it has been and what is the present will be happen because your only from your only the boundary will be set up and as if the boundary will be set up so it becomes very easy also 
to be into that part of it world and to accept those goods and to do that part of research into more and more because here r and d is done more because as if different type of techniques have been done because you are you are observing the people you are analyzing the people behavior you are doing whatever the employees are require you are understanding the behavior of the people you are doing branding also and we have all, when we went with the help of marketing we went four p's also that is product price place and promotion when we are doing internationally way where the marketing research when you are doing an international way where you can see product price place and promotion because this all the are affected with the help of a marketing research because this is a major concept till the time if you are not aware with the help of this four type of concept the marketing research is incomplete so uh, this also being into the touch and this also being with the help of that part of it uh, that part of it because with the help of this only the thing is the attra- uh, the strategies are been developed and from here the thing is the strategies are been growing more and more into the market so the each and every one we have seen now we have even went through with the help of uh, data today uh, now data where we went we went with primary data and secondary data so into the primary data already the data are been there with you so only just the thing is in the primary data you are uh, going personally you are having this questionnaires you are doing a survey and from there the thing is what you are analyzing the statistics and you are getting out the data but when related with secondary data already the data are been fulfilled it with you but only you are just taking the references or reliable to that which is convenient for you so that type of it uh, that type of relationships you are maintaining so these are the two different types of uh, data because when you are doing a research you need to understand this thing apart from this we also went with the help of an environment because you are seeing each and everything environment is also important where economical social political legal each and every environment you are seeing out because with the help of this type of only environment the thing is what you are developing your business strong